Hey guys, I hope you're good, I hope you're doing fine, and I hope you're ready for this one. So today we're going to make an amazing meal. Welcome back to Bon Appetit. This is a show where we learn how to cook. This is a show where we learn more tactics and how to go about with our cooking style. So today we are with Chef Rubia, and he's going to tell us what we're going to cook today. What are we going to make, Chef? First and foremost, how have you been? Oh my God, I'm sorry. I had I missed the you protocol. on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. It's greetings, greetings. I had missed being on the show. I missed you being on the show. But I'm glad I'm back. Yeah. And guess what vibe you're bringing, yeah? What vibe are we bringing? So I'm trying I'm trying to like uh, bring that, you know, East African vibe, yeah? Uh -huh. So I don't know if we should call it like a uh, East African, uh, what? Version of, you know. Of cooking. Of cooking, yeah? Okay. So to, I'm, I'm trying to do like, you know, like uh, our local food. Uh -huh. And then I borrow some from Tanzania, Mombasa, uh -huh. and then from Kenya, just bringing... Okay. the east african community back together okay. yeah okay. so for that today I'm, I'm going to make my own version uh -huh. of katogo because okay. basically it's what like uh bananas matoke okay and then with some uh, peanut sauce or gina mm -hmm. sauce mm -hmm. and then you can do any meat in mm -hmm. it huh? mm -hmm. so i'm going to do mine with the uh, chicken because of course Ooh. who doesn't love chicken Ooh, I love, not love chicken. chicken. Yeah, who doesn't love chicken? I believe you also love chicken. Everybody loves chicken. <laughs> Everybody loves chicken. Yes. Yeah, so basically that's what I'm going to do for the day. What ingredients are we going to use? So for the ingredients, I'm going to be using some uh, matoke, as you can see, some green, nice bananas straight from the farm okay. to the kitchen. Uh, we're going to use some chicken. So for the chicken or I've done, uh, I've pre-cooked it. So mm -hmm. others prefer to boil. Mm -hmm. Others prefer to, you know, seal them in a pan and then... Uh, add it in the stew. Mm -hmm. Others prefer to roast it in the oven and then mm -hmm. cook it. So for mine, I've roasted it. I've done okay. some marination to have more flavors in it. Okay. So I'm going to add it in the matoke. Yeah? Okay. And then after that, we have some, of course, the basic things. We have some tomato paste, some garlic, some uh, salt and black pepper. I have some onions. I have already some peeled bananas over here to make much more, much more easier. And, and then some, some onions and then some peanut, of course. Okay. That's like the main the main thing for this particular meal, yeah? Okay. Yes, so that's so, basically what you have. Let's get it now. So the first thing, I'm going to heat bring up the heat. Yes, okay. and then uh, as it's uh, heating, I'm going to, this vegetable is already pre-washed, huh? As usual, cleanliness is important. We already washed our hands, and I'm going to put on my gloves. Let me get some um, gloves here, yeah. So we first gonna do the onions, okay. and then do the garlic and then do some tomatoes, mm -hmm. and then we proceed. And just have some spice over here. It's called, uh, what do you call it? It's rosenda. Yes. In, uh, in, okay. the, in okay. the local language, right? Yes. Chili. Rosenda. Rosenda. Yes. Uh, so don't Ooh. try this at home, yeah? I won't try it at home. Don't try I'll this at home, I'll cut my fingers yeah? alongside the onions. Yeah, so just shred the onions. You never tear when you're cutting the onions? No, I'm already used to it. Actually, it's the onions which tear, not me. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Let me help you with that. So, yes, I'm going to put please, oil? Yeah. I'm going to put oil, of course. How much? Just uh, like uh, two tablespoons. Huh? Like uh, two tablespoons. Yeah. Is this enough? That's enough. Really? Yeah, that's enough. Oh, oh, stay Tracy. <laughs> that's enough. And then okay. we're going to do our onions. You want to do? Yes. Do the onion. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. Sorry. And then I finish that one off. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll give you this. To you can start, stir. keep stirring as you're stirring. I'm going to take like a two. Yeah. So as the onions are cooking, mm -hmm. I'm going to throw in Some like garlic? a teaspoon of garlic to give I it more garlic. flavor and aroma. Yeah. I always believe that garlic brings enhances. Yeah. The aroma, you know, it has like a unique, distinctive taste, aroma, and smell mm -hmm. that enhances the taste of the food. Mm -hmm. After that, now I'm going to throw in our tomatoes, our tomato dices. Okay, let me help you. No, no worries. You can do the, yeah. There you go. Okay. There you go, and then the final one like that, and then throw them okay. in there. Yeah. And this I'm going to wipe, of course. You want some tissue? There yeah. you go. I can give you some salad. There okay. you go. You can have some, a couple of them over Thank there. Thank you. Yeah. 
So for the tomatoes, um, we give them like a minute or two to cook yeah. and extract the water okay. so they can like form like a crust on top, yeah? And sauce? Yes. Okay. Sauce we're going to put later. Okay. So first the tomatoes. Let's, it's cold. A little bit? No, no, so this one is uh, not so hot. It's, hot. it's not cold, hot, yeah? Okay. It's kind of cold, yeah? Okay. Just a minute for the tomatoes to cook nicely. And then you're going to throw in our tomato paste as well. Okay. To enhance on the okay. on the tastes and the thickness and the thickness is consistency uh -huh. and taste okay yeah yeah so yeah. i'm going to do like two okay. like a tablespoon so around two teaspoons huh? okay i'm going to do that i'm going to cook it then i mix mix it mix it Ooh, give it like some time to right cook now. yeah you're a super star chef you're like a michelin star chef huh? Right, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like um, Hilda. Ah, oh, right. But you've not cooked. You've cooked for two minutes. How can you be Hilda? It's only been two minutes. <laughs> and she cooked for three days. Three What do you think days. about the Hilda cooker? No, I think, I think it was amazing. And, you know, it takes too much planning, uh -huh. resilience, and energy. You know, imagine standing for three good days. I know. Cooking, like, continuously. No stopping, no nothing. It, it requires determination, yeah? I know. Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of resilience. So that, after that now, uh -huh. we're going to put in our water. Water. A little bit of water or okay. stock if you have. So normally oh. what, what you will do in some cases, huh? uh -huh. you have the, if you boil your chicken, uh -huh. instead of using water to get more flavor, use the stock. You use this, oh, yes. The stock from the chicken. If it's beef, you use if it's the fish, same. yeah, use the same. Okay. So it makes more sense, huh? Yes. Yeah. So we are going to let it boil, and then let I'm going to throw boil? in some little bit of some salt, okay. like uh, at least put a little bit of some salt inside, and then some black pepper. So it's it's basic basic cooking, yeah. Okay. So that even people at home can you know get the ingredients. Try it out. Yeah, and show and try it out definitely, yeah. And then I'm going to do some black pepper. You like spice or no? I love spice. You like spice, so I can put in some spice. Mm -hmm. Some brusenda. No! But you say you like spice. No, I'm, I thought you meant... <laughs> I thought you meant other spices, but not oh, chili. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. okay. So chili... Because chili... Um, so this is what I think. Mm -hmm. People with, uh, with ulcers... Yes. It's not good for them Definitely, to take chili. definitely. And I'm, I'm one of the people with ah, ulcers, so yeah. I think um, it's not good to take the chili. Definitely, yeah, because it triggers. Yeah. It triggers them, yeah? Yeah. So we give them like a minute to boil. After okay. that, we're going to add our oh, banana. Yeah. We're going to add our bananas and then cover, steam uh -huh. for a minute. The final thing we're going to add the peanuts because of one reason. I normally put it last okay. because it tends to stick okay. on the base. Oh, yeah. So you always put it when it's all when the, when the stew is almost done. Yes. Now you put it, you mix, and then now you you don't leave it at the fire for too long. Okay. Because if you do that, it's going to stick and okay. burn. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to add the bananas? We're going to add our bananas. Are already, them? already, no. So what I've done, I've done uh, different versions. Huh? Okay. So I've done the long ones. I've done already cut like some of them okay. to give like a different uh, perspective okay. in terms of them. Okay. So here we can add. Okay, let me Help do the owner, well. please. Yes. Thank do you. Do the owner. Yeah. Okay. So matoke is good. Um, it's also a step of food in uh, Uganda. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. So after that, what I normally tend to do is now cover and then reduce. And for the, 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 the way I cook matoke for me, my style, mm -hmm. I don't like the sauce to be too runny. Oh, I yes. like it like thick. thick. So yeah, That's thick. It, you know, it coats with the banana. When you leave the banana, yeah. you leave the sauce as well. Huh? I rarely eat matoke. So if really? I'm to eat matoke, uh -huh. it should be thick. Yes. The Very sauce has nice. to be thick because it makes with the flavors, uh -huh. the sauce and everything, yeah? Mm -hmm. So we give it like around five or seven minutes to steam okay. and then we cover. After that, we add our peanuts and then okay. we add our chicken uh -huh. and then we finish, yeah? Okay. So the chicken, it's already roasted. Okay. So I don't want to overcook it to mash okay. it up, yeah? Okay. So it's already roasted. What I'll do, once I have the peanut sauce, also put the chicken on top to give the flavor also, balance everything, and then okay. I'm going to serve, yeah? Okay. Yeah, so five minutes. Let's wait. And then All right. So as our matoke is boiling, yes. what else are we going to do? So as you can see, already the sauce is already thick, yeah? Oh, yeah. It's already thick. And 
ironically, we've not added a uh, peanut paste oh, no. because if you add it, it's going to be. Uh, I don't. I, I even lack the words to say. Huh? Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to add this. How many teaspoons? How many spoons do you want? Let's add two. Like two, yeah. So that's like around one and two, and then you can do it. You can do. Ah, let's add another spoon. Okay. To peanuts. There you go. And then I will reduce the heat to slow simite so that it doesn't okay. stick below and cook. And then for that now, yeah, we add in our roasted chicken. So now imagine that okay. sauce huh, with the flavor of the, of the, chicken. Of the roasted chicken. Huh? So this is basically chicken marinated. Mm -hmm. that salt, black pepper, some dark soy sauce. You can marinate it the way you want it, okay. depending on your flavor. Yeah? And then once you cook it, you just want to like throw it around. In? Yeah. Just throw it around, huh? Put it around everywhere. Okay. And, the, and then after that, mm -hmm. we cover, we give it like uh, five minutes to simmer. Okay. And then Do I mix? Then, no, no, no. Leave it like that faster. Okay. And then after that, our food is ready to go. How many minutes did it take? Okay. Less than uh, 15 minutes, you have your proper katogo. Katogo. Chef Rubia style. Ah. Yeah. This and is then, a good uh, style of katogo. I would eat this one. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's simple, easy, but also nice flavors by the end of yes. the day. Yeah? So okay. give it like around three, five minutes, uh -huh. and then boom, our food is We're ready to serve. To yeah. All right. Yeah. Good. All right. Okay, so our food is ready. Uh -huh. I'm just going to take a little bit of some coriander or dania. My car, please. You want to, of I? course. But careful, the shop is super nice. Huh? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. And then just throw it on top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, oh, hey. I see. Knife skills, huh? Shape in the making. <laughs> Super knife skills, huh? Yeah, and then just and then? throw it on top. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. For more flavors. For more Ooh, flavors. Nice. Yeah, more flavors. Huh? And then, okay. yeah, dump it there. And then, please, okay. you can... Hand over the, the plate. plate. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. And uh, here. So we're going to do some presentation. Huh? Okay. It's simple one, like a chat home. Okay. So here we go. As you can see, the thickness. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then like put like one more. This one. Yeah. So I'll put I'll put less for Tracy. And then the one in the port will be mine, huh? Right. Yeah, once the camera off, mm. I will indulge. And then now we can do like a chicken. There you go. On top, like that. We only can do, of course, a second piece of chicken. We don't want to be mean, huh? Okay. We like serving people enough that they can eat, huh? So as you can see that. And I can also take a little bit of more, a little bit of some coriander as well, and just put it on top, you know, just the garnish, huh? Like that, and then see, easy, home meal, simple, and uh, Tracy will give us feedback. Very the nice. peanuts and everything. Beautiful. Feel the aromas, this? yeah. No, I mean I'll eat in the in the no. pan. Huh? I don't want people to see. You know, I don't want to spoil my CV. <laughs> Let me tell you guys. Na jaga na gidi tochi, ariko ndachio wote kuvimus. Translation. Well, do you know what I was saying? Do that on translation, please. I was saying that uh -huh. I used to hate matoke, but uh -huh. from now on, yeah. it's I your am favorite following thing, matoke. Yeah? Awesome style. Well, yeah. thank you very much, Chef Rubia, for this You're wonderful, most welcome. wonderful, wonderful meal. Yep. Um, it's very delicious, very healthy. Uh, for everyone that is watching us, in case you missed on the ingredients, here they are again. Um, uh, the paste, paste, the tomato paste, garlic, onions, fresh tomatoes, mm -hmm. the matoke itself, mm -hmm. some chicken. But you can substitute the chicken with your fish, beef, mm -hmm. goat, whatever meat you want to, even snail, whatever meat you want to eat. So wow, it's okay. Snail beef? Yeah, of course. Never. Snail is meat. Really? Yeah. Did Depending. Yeah, of course. Really? Yeah, of course. Oh my god. Yeah, it tastes like fish and liver. So. <laughs> <laughs>
thank you very much for you're most welcome and it's always a pleasure having you yes yes and thank you for this wonderful meal yes and for the viewers huh yes. in case you want this recipe or more recipe as well you can follow me on my pages mm -hmm. chef rubia on facebook or instagram and of course you'll get this and more other recipes mm -hmm. yep so see you next time we're signing out huh? <laughs>